welcome to sports khabri with me aradhi and rishi and uh, yeah a euro preview um, is what we've got on the cards today euro round of 16 preview to be specific um, the group stages are done and yeah i think we've had a actually a good last couple of days and uh, it has been a little exciting little intriguing and we finally got to know what who's playing who and we'll start off right at the top aradhi coming to you about switzerland italy because dude i think this is one of the picks for the for my round of 16 fixture i think is very hard to call uh, what do you think what are you expecting from switzerland italy oof it's going to be a tough game for both i feel like again italy as i said before they're not the same old italy from previous years you know they have a very young side you saw them against croatia also they needed a last minute winner to score and you know go through to the round of 16 so i think now no games are going to be very easy in terms of switzerland again they're also a team who was pretty good against all the three teams they played i mean i think scotland game they were a bit okay they were a bit blunt when it came to their finishing uh, but apart from that they had a very very good performance against germany when we talk about germany we thought they are the best side and the favorites of the euros and i think switzerland outperformed them until the last 10 minutes maybe of that that game so it's going to be a tough game i feel like both teams are very slow in terms of everything i feel like it's going to be very tight i still think this game can go to like i feel like it can be like a draw something like that and it goes to penalty shootouts where you know the maybe the keeper comes and shows makes a difference for for, for this tie you know it's it's very tough to call out yeah i think uh, i i agree with you i think it's very tough to call but i think switzerland have performed really well i think probably they just might make it and uh, hopefully i see them go through to the next well, guys keep in mind that calfury is missing through suspension yeah yeah um yep and he has a kid it's okay switzerland would have done pretty well even with him in the team um yeah rishi uh, germany denmark this is uh, this is an interesting one because i thought denmark have done decently in their group and germany have of course played well so what do you think about this uh i mean denmark i feel the game against england they did really well like they were pressing the midfield they were compressing the midfield really well that has a little bit of england's not a little bit a lot of england's fault they just figured how england couldn't move without like off the ball they couldn't move they're all stagnant and they just came and pressed from all sides they just compressed them entirely you know so uh again germany they they tend to move the ball more quicker they have more like their movements in general are quicker but they'll also be without jonathan ta he's also suspended so it'll be interesting but again i i still feel they have just enough you know quality to see through this fixture okay interesting i mean of course they're playing at home i think another you would say factor in favor of the germans should have enough to get through this uh, i guess uh, germany as well i think the overwhelming favorites in this one although denmark have done well um, are, are the england slovakia because england have had a shambolic first few games what do you have to say uh, i mean when it comes to england i feel like this is coming for, from a very long time i think they've been overperforming in tournaments from from a pretty long time i feel like they overperformed last year in the world cup also even though they had a good good squad etc whatever coming to this euros over the past few few internationals not only this international i think the problem with southgate is he's been chopping and changing too much he's got an a lot of youth into the squad which is not needed you know in terms of when you go to the tournament if you're getting in youth you need to nurture them and get them into it you, you just can't just put them in the deep and then say you come into the euros you won't get to play but you're going to stay in the squad so that's what he's been doing and i feel like that's that's that, that, that's affected them a lot in terms of options you know i still believe players like you know marcus rashford sterling still should have been in the squad and if you're not going to play them i think you have to still give more chances for players like gordon and maybe even palmer yeah, yeah. you can't get them into the squad and not give them a chance it took him two games for you know literally the last 10 minutes 20 minutes of the third game for you know players like gordon and palmer to even get a debut so it's it's, it's see if you if you want to talk if you want to talk about england i can go on for hours but in terms of what he's doing right now and what england is it's going to be a tough game i still think england can beat slovakia uh won't be a he's maybe not an easy game but this will going to go through and uh, you know most likely face italy in the in, in the quarter finals and yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever happens goes on next but 
if you want to talk about england i don't think they're a side which is very promising and in terms of in terms of the football they play i feel like it's one of the most like horrible football to the talent they have you know yeah yeah and it is the thing with england i think got lucky to play one of the third place teams as well in this round so uh that's that's another that's the sad part that's the sad part the cause... side of the portugal germany that entire yeah. side are not facing spain exactly. yeah that's the sad part they got in the game it is what it is it's like switzerland and all and yeah. you know, i can't believe they're so lucky exactly exactly so but yeah um uh, just quickly on uh, germany before that we spoke about uh, jonathan tam missing uh, rudiger might be out due to injury i mean we still don't know it remains to be seen and uh, morten hunman the guy who scored for denmark against england will be uh, missing as well so there's there's a couple Hunman of things got suspended oh yeah yes. morten hunman is also suspended like so yeah uh, rishi coming to you with spain georgia Georgia, a remarkable story. I think for them to make it to this round. So yeah, I mean, but of course they're up against a very talented Spanish squad. I think who are looking very good after a while. I mean, Spain, all the three games. I feel they did the job professionally. They were very, uh, you know, clean. They were not very wasteful. They were, and they were not trying to overdo things as well. I feel the previous years, I could feel that the teams were trying to. they were out of their depth i'd feel they were trying to overdo things with players that were still almost not there like they almost wanted to replicate that that ideological spanish football when you didn't have those kind of players like you could see danny olmo players like olmo getting a lot more minutes when they were trying to outpass teams and they weren't just clinical enough i feel this time they're a little bit more direct in that manner and uh, you can see like i was very skeptical of uh, players like kukurela playing at left back starting as a spanish left back but he has done his job decently as well the defense is also looking tidy so again georgia they although they faced a pretty rotated portugal side they they played really they played well but i feel spain is again overwhelming favorites for this yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, i agree and if you go to the other side adi uh two teams that haven't done well at all these you i think probably most surprisingly along with england belgium and france haven't done very well they go up against each other in this round <laughs> it's it's so weird that france haven't finished on top of their group and the same for belgium so uh, what are you expecting from this again is going to be tough i feel like both teams haven't been firing properly i feel like again in both teams haven't been clinical first of all like both france and belgium especially lukaku has been i think he could have scored i'm sure if he was smart enough as a striker in terms of finishing and staying on side he would have been easily on five to six goals yeah uh, yeah that's and that's more than that, even presence of mind i feel he's so absent he's so zoned out most of the time like you see him responding and then he's so shocked he's so late he's and then he just puts his hand like this like he's so surprised that he's in the position that he is like he's not present i feel yeah dude like even the goals in the first game like he didn't need to stay offside for the first goal with yeah. the equal as he scored it was no one's there he he he's, you know that's the presence of mind you're just running forward when you know the ball is going to come ahead of you you just stay back like and that's how it even when it comes to finishing it's, it's he's so he's so early to shoot because he's scared like he's he's so scared of like you know the keeper rushing out and being able to save that actually gives him less time to score and you know at least set himself up and you can see even in terms of the way he shoots it's it's the it's like very wrong technique and i can't believe him even though he's a clinical striker and has been clinical in terms of finishing over the years especially in the premier league it's just deteriorating over time and i feel like that's going to affect them also i mean mm-hmm. you know in terms of look if you don't have a even though i say you know you need good defenses uh, you know to win these euros tournaments etc you still need clinical well, attacks and yeah. you have to have a clinical attack or it's like it's very tough to sustain a tournament because if you're not able to create a lot of chances and with the less chances you create your striker your main man misses it it's, it's going to be so tough and i feel like that's the same problem with france i feel like france one thing is again they don't create a lot when they do create i feel like it only comes through mbappe he gets overworked etc if, if a team you know marks mbappe out for the entire game or if mbappe is not firing on his day i i, I still don't think anyone else can come through that team 
I feel like we saw that even in the World Cup. I feel like without Mbappe, that that World Cup team that went to the final wouldn't have been in the final, or even have scored two goals in the final, two three goals in the final, whatever it was. And again, coming to this tournament is the same thing. If Mbappe doesn't fire, they really can't score. You saw that against Netherlands. I mean, even though Griezmann had two very good chances, uh, still they were not there. In he was not able to finish it, and that's my point. Like. The reliance on Mbappe right now is too much. At least before you might have had Giroud scoring a couple of goals here, there Pogba being able to score goals, etc. Now that is also not there. I still don't think mm-hmm. if you're having players like Dembele coming off the wing and if you want him to be your main man in terms of output, goals, assists, it's going to be very tough. So I think again, this game is going to be very tough. I think it can be like a basketball match. It's, you know, the same way how we saw France Netherlands is going to go up and down. And you know, I feel like who is going to be clinical on the day is going to win that game. Who will win it? But Belgium or France? For me, it's going to be France. Just just because overall talent is better. Plus plus, yeah, exactly. I still think they have a very good defense. So I feel like mm-hmm. that 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 helps them a lot. Okay, okay. Erhi, uh, Portugal, Slovenia. Mm, I mean, Portugal. You can't. I feel they'll just. Get the job done, bro. Like, I f- they have enough talent, and I don't know. There's just, bro. Even in the first, even the game against Turkey, they shouldn't have, like, con, con- like, con, uh, consider the second goal. I, it just, it's just one of those things that you just see it tends to happen to in favor of Portugal and all these the inevitables, you know. And I feel their main players are also quite rested. They will. Be refreshed, and I feel that it's it's a bit too much for uh, Slovenia to handle. But again, they can uh, like we saw in the previous games also. If like they have a very stern defense, so if they can hold their like if they can just hold themselves positionally and stay compact, I feel Portugal are, are there for the taking. Like you see, okay. even yesterday they were frustrated at times, and then the minute things weren't going their way, you could see their senior players throwing. Tantrums and you know, create like it was all it is almost like they were imploding. So, I feel if they can, if that's their way, like if you want to be in the game, just stay compact, just frustrate them. But I, I at the end of the day, I feel they have a little bit too much quality, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, frustrating is it, it could be frustrating, especially somebody like Ronaldo who hasn't scored at all in the tournament. And uh, yeah. probably you've got an opportunity that for first 45 minutes, 50 minutes, see it out, and then you might just have a chance of your own. But yeah, like she said, maybe the quality is a little too much. Romania, Netherlands, Adi. Romania, of course, I think one of the feisty teams in this tournament and I like what they brought. Um, again, and, and then you've got a Dutch side who've been up and down. So, where, which way are you going for this? Uh, again, dude, that's the thing. It's it's kind of tough because, you know, especially Netherlands with the squad they have, I expected them to do, you know, very well this tournament, especially a pretty yeah. young squad. And to be fair, for the first time in a long time, they've had a very set defense in terms of at least the player names, the the quality they have in defense. I think firstly they need to be defending better. Uh, I feel like players like you know uh, what do you call Van Dijk, even Devry, have been pretty pretty mediocre and poor. And I've I, I'm actually been surprised the way they've been defending. It's been it's been easy for teams to you know open up, open them up and score even against France as I said uh, even though that ended nil all they had a France I mean sorry yeah France had a very good chance to score two goals and they missed clear cut chances by Griezmann so but I still feel like Netherlands just has the edge because of of their quality and you know I still think Netherlands overall they came from a very tough group it was not an easy group to be fair yeah, yeah they fair. faced they faced Austria and France both great teams. Yeah, I feel like that can help them a bit, and you know, just, just. I don't know why, but I'm feeling. I just get the feeling Romania can go through here, just because of the attitude that they they come in with in this tournament. I don't know why, but I, I feel like if there is an upset anywhere uh, in this, it's probably in this one for me. But yeah, uh, Rishi, last one, Austria, Turkey. Uh, I feel see the uh, Turkey are without their. Captain Chalanoglu and their centre back who started all three games are tied in. So I feel these two have been really good also for the games. I feel the other centre back was a lot more erratic. He was not holding his position well, but this guy was keeping it clean. And you could see Chalanoglu was instrumental in almost every game. He directly scored and then he was creating chances. He was also pretty much their engine. So I feel 
them missing it's like already i like they're pretty you know reliant they're on they're very reliant on these certain players you know showing up so i feel that is going to be a huge factor but then you see austria are also without uh, patrick wimmer and but i feel austria can handle it better and they've been playing really well also like you see they've been hitting team teams in the transition the minute they win the ball they're looking to get it forward and you know like uh, attack straight away and fair play to ragnik they've been doing really well like yeah so i feel i feel austria can i, I feel they will comfortably pretty much comfortably. yeah and turkey like bro they've been very erratic i i, I don't know like it just seems like bro like i don't, I don't even know what to make why they, they pretty much struggled versus georgia, georgia also yeah, yeah yeah that exactly exactly yeah fair enough then uh, that's that's the round up guys for the round of 16 games uh, hope you enjoy them let us know if you think there are a couple more upsets in there somewhere Like and share the videos. Subscribe to Sports Kabi, and yeah, we'll see you next time.